Big Mom is a whole lot of woman. She's practically a kaiju. Fact of the matter is, she's a brick house. She's my to my to. But is she invincible? Does she have any weaknesses? Let's talk about it. Powerful Nerdcast assembles! Stay dandy, baby. Greetings my friends, it's time for another One Piece discussion video and this one's gonna be all about Big Mom. Is she indestructible? Can she be defeated? And is she at death's door? Before we go further into this discussion, I would like to ask all of you if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos, reviews, discussions, just like this one. If you are already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and hit that bell notification icon. It'll give you a notification when my videos are released. And of course, if you're just liking this video and all my content overall, go ahead and slam dunk the freaking like button. It's right there, super easy to do. You could also consider checking out my Patreon page where you can make a small monthly donation that I would really appreciate. I would also love to add your name to this list of all these people that you currently see on screen. They're the ones who are helping support my channel financially. I cannot thank you enough for that. You're watching my content and you're helping out the channel. So yeah, really great stuff there. But let's go ahead and jump into this video, which is all about Big Mom. That's right, Charlotte Linlin, former member of the Rocks Pirates, one of the Yonko, and one hell of a scary lady. <laughs> mama, mama. <laughs> She's incredibly crazy, one of the scariest fucking moms that I've ever seen in media, right up there with Pamela Voorhees, Ragyo Kira Ewing, and most importantly of all, Agnes Skinner. You start a car as well as you start a family. Pun intended, but Big Mom is one of the biggest villains in One Piece history. She also happens to be one of the most physically strong characters of the entire series. She's not so much a human as she is a monster. A force of nature with a rabid appetite for death, destruction, and sweets. She's basically the female version of Majin Buu. And just like Majin Buu, it seems like no one can take the bitch down. We've seen many characters try, of course, but they barely make a dent in her. What's really funny about all of this is that Big Mom didn't even, like, train to get here. She was born an absolute psychopath. When she's not body-checking giants and eating an entire orphanage of children, she's being one of the most notorious pirates in the series. Without a shadow of a doubt, Big Mom is the most powerful female pirate in One Piece. No one has stood a chance against her, maybe save some of the other Yonko, like Kaido, Blackbeard, or Shanks. And even then, every single time these Yonko clash with one another, the only thing they end up doing is splitting the clouds and causing a lot of side characters to shit their pants with fear. But no matter how powerful the corpulent Kate Craver is, I have a feeling that Big Mom is this close to meeting her very first major defeat and one of the shocking twists about all of this is that it's actually not even a main character from the Straw Hat Pirates, it's two of the supernovas, Trafalgar Law and Eustace Kid. Whether it was Whole Cake Island or everything that's currently going on right now in the Wano arc, Big Mom just manages to plow through freaking everything. I mean, that's just kind of the point of her entire character. And she's done a lot in Wano, whether it's fighting against Queen or destroying everything in her wake, taking tremendous amounts of damage from just about anybody, and still managing to kick, take away people's lifespans with her devil fruit, not to mention going through massive transformations. That's kind of the thing with Big Mom. You injure her, you piss her off, she ends up transforming into some sort of brand new demonic form that we've never seen before. Even right now, with Law and Kid awakening their devil fruit powers and severely damaging her, she manages to just get right back up. And this is after having a sword shoved through her throat coming out the other side. That would have killed any other normal person. Nah, it just really pisses her off. However, Big Mom receiving damage from Law and Kid is one of the biggest moments in her development, as it's really one of the first major times that we've seen a tremendous amount of damage dealt to her. However, it looks like she's finally starting to reveal her trump card, and through my years of watching anime and reading manga, this gives me a pretty big flag that she's probably about to die, or at least get incapacitated and defeated. Rarely do the main villains in One Piece arcs ever just die. For a series all about pirates who constantly go to war with one another, it's surprising how there aren't really that many important major character deaths. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are there, but most of the time it's devoted to the side characters. It's the main villains of every arc which manage to just get their asses pummeled by the main characters and then they're just sort of out. They're gone. I'll go ahead and say this. I think Big Mom is going to survive Wano. 
but I do think that she is officially going to be defeated by Law and Kid. Essentially, this entire moment is serving as a springboard for these two supernovas, because of the supernovas, they've easily gotten the most development. Trafalgar Law in particular, but they've just awakened their devil fruits. This is essentially a showcase to see how far these abilities can actually go. The problem is they're dealing with Big Mom, whose powers are absolutely insane. If it's not her Herculean strength and the ability to pretty much tank just about any other attack, she has what is arguably one of the most broken devil fruits in the entire series, being able to manipulate life itself. And we've already seen what happens when she takes one year of her lifespan, consuming it and becoming even larger. Just imagine what would happen if she actually ended up taking a little bit more. If Law and Kid are going to take down Big Mom, now is the time to do it. And they really need to take advantage of her biggest weakness, which of course is her overall mentality. For the most part, Big Mom's personality fluctuates between two personality types, being very hungry and being super pissed off. And while she is incredibly strong, She's not the most intelligent character in the world. She's a character that you can actually take advantage of. And Law and Kid are the perfect opportunity to do this. Law is definitely the more intelligent of the two, and I have a feeling his strategies are gonna be instrumental in taking her down. But at the same time, they still need a little bit of that raw muscle to bring her down to the ground, and that's where Kid is actually going to come into play. It's already been hinted at that the fact that they've used their Awakened Devil Fruits that apparently like this was like their last ditch, it's the only chance they could do it. I have a feeling they still have a few secrets up their sleeve, especially with the fact that Kid just refuses to explain anything about his awakened devil fruit. We know there's something else in the chamber, and it's going to be instrumental in fully bringing her down. But they're going to have to bring their A-game, and I still firmly believe that one of the biggest weaknesses of Big Mom outside of her overall mental state is the fact that she's essentially just living armor itself. Really tough on the outside. But there are certainly some weaknesses on the inside, and this combined with Law's ability to attack people internally, I think is what's going to give them the massive advantage in taking her down. The evidence is there. Law attacked her from the inside, and we immediately saw damage with smoke and blood coming out of her mouth. This is how it's all going to have to go down, and I think that Law and Kid are going to have to cooperate if they're going to come up with some sort of combination attack to attack her from the inside. Which, now that I think about it, it's probably going to be pretty damn sick. But even if they manage to defeat Big Mom, I mean, like, what's the next step? I mean, sure, she might get knocked out for a little bit, but as soon as she gets up, she's just going to start destroying everything again. And she's one of the few characters in the series who actually resists the whole sea stone cuffs. They don't really seem to stop her at all. They're going to have to come up with some sort of weird, crazy plan to incapacitate this woman, or they're going to have to trick her in a completely different way. We've seen multiple times throughout most of these arcs that Big Mom has been swayed to actually join the other side, and most of the time it does come from head trauma, but still, there is the possibility that Big Mom could be turned into something else. I wasn't just kidding when I said that she reminded me of Majin Buu. Majin Buu started out just like her, just a monster who was driven by instinct to destroy and eat everything. Big Mom's the same way. She's effectively a child who never grew up. She never had any real parentage. She always just did what she wanted. It's kind of ironic. Big Mom needs her very own mom. And hopefully this time, she won't eat her. But one of the main reasons I made this video is I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear your thoughts and your theories on what's going to happen with Big Mom and Wano. Is she going to be killed? Is she going to be defeated? Will Law and Kid be the ones to take her down? Will someone else join the battle? Will there be a massive surprise? What are your hopes for the future of Big Mom in the One Piece series? Sound off, comment section below. Let's have a big discussion all about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this discussion video. I'll see you all next time. And as always, stay dandy, baby. <laughs>